Amen? Amen. If you want to know where somebody is, really, despite what they're trying to tell you, listen to them talk long enough. There you go. Come on now. Amen. Can we just be real this morning? Amen. Somebody can come to you and they can have a good line. Mm -hmm. Oh, they can have a good line. They're looking good and they got it all laid out. But I just want you to keep talking. Just keep talking. Because mm -hmm. pretty soon, your conversation is going to let me know what your thought life is like. Mm -hmm. What you're thinking about. Amen? Amen. And many times our confession is wrong because our thinking is wrong. That's right. It's in our thought process. And so the only way you can change your thought process is to change your revelation. Mm -hmm. yeah. Come on, somebody. Amen. Can we talk a little bit more this morning? Yeah. Yeah. Because this is important. If you wonder why you don't have what you want and what you should have according to the word of God, it's because your confession has been wrong. Yeah. That's right, that's right, that's right. Your confession is a precursor to your possession. Uh -huh. yeah. So if you don't like what you've got, you got to go back to what you confessed. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. You better yeah. say it now. Come on. And when you go back to your, what you confessed, you got to go back to how you thought. Oh, I think. And if you want to change how you thought, you got to go back to the revelation that you were operating on that gave rise to the thoughts that you were thinking. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Right. It's no secret. And that's why God said in Jeremiah, he said, I know the thoughts. Jeremiah 29, 11, I know the thoughts that I think towards you. What's he trying to do? He said, I want you to catch my thoughts. Yay, Amen. Yay, yay. Because when you catch my thoughts, your confession will change. Amen. And when your confession changes, your possession will change. Amen. And when your possessions change, your legacy will change. Amen. Well, Pastor, what's so important about the legacy? You're, you, you had no control over your heritage. You were born into the family you were born in. And whatever they had, they had. And however they lived, they lived. You had no control over your heritage, but you have total control over your legacy. Amen. Amen. Your heritage is what you had when you came into the world, but your legacy is what you're going to leave when you yeah. leave. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. 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 Come on, this is good. This is good. Amen. This is good. This is good. Yes. 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 See, My mother had an 11th grade education and my dad had a 9th grade education. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But they told me, don't you stop there. Uh -huh. There you go. Come on. Come on now. Amen. We were on welfare. See, you wouldn't know this. Uh -huh. We was on welfare. Mm -hmm. You know that peanut butter. Yeah. You, you put on that Wonder Bread. Yeah. And instead of spreading on the bread, it wrapped the bread around the name. Sure <laughs> so you had, yeah. come on now, you had bread and peanut butter on the stick. <laughs> You opened up the peanut butter and it had so much oil on top of it. They gave an instruction, stir it up before you use it. And then that powdered milk. Ooh, that powdered milk. I don't care how much you whipped it, it had lumps. And I was so glad I was the oldest because when we had to, when I had to make the milk, you know, I'd be generous. I'm gonna give all my other brothers and sisters their milk first. Yes, that means they got the lumps. Yeah. Ah. But no matter how much, come on somebody, there were still lumps in it. Why? Because it wasn't the real thing. Amen. It was a substitute. Amen. Yeah. Amen. We settle for substitutes. Yeah. Right. We don't want to go through the process yes. to walk into the possession of the real thing. Amen. Right. Right. Come on now. All right. Yeah. Good, Pastor. Can, can we just talk a little bit more this Amen. morning? Amen. See, revelation is key. So God said, Jeremiah 20, I know the thoughts that I think towards you. And then he told you what kind of thoughts they were. Thoughts of good and not of evil. That's right. To give you an expected end. In other words, he said, when you get a hold of my thoughts, you already know what your expected end is supposed to be, regardless of the process you're going through right now. Come on now, can we just get real this morning? Yeah, when he was out there in the world, 
Brother Felton, when we was out there in the world, come on, somebody, we go out to that nightclub, get on the dance floor. Some of us, I didn't know how to dance, but I get out there anyway. I'm going to work this. I'm going to work this. Don't know what I was working. Don't know what I was doing, but I'm going to work it. But now that I'm in the kingdom of God, I know what I'm doing. I've got to work his word. James said you have not because you ask not. That's right. That's right. And when you ask it, you don't get it because you want to use it on yourself. That's right. Your motives were wrong for why you were asking for it. Amen. He also said, why are there wars and rumors of wars? Is it not because there's wars in your numbers? Right. <laughs> Jesus said, by this shall, my, the, shall the world know that you're my disciples. How's he going to know this? Because you got love one for another. Now, how do we have love one for another? Because we're dealing with our inner war. Mm. Come on now, come on now, come on now. Come on. We got to talk this morning. Go ahead, Pastor. How can I have koinia fellowship with you, man of God, if I'm not dealing with the war on the inside of me? There you go. Because if there's a war going on on the inside of me and I'm not dealing with it, sooner or later, we will have a problem. We're going to have a problem. Right. But it's not because yeah. you got a problem bigger than my problem. It's that I haven't dealt with my own problem. Oh, yeah. 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 And because I can't deal and won't deal with my own problem, I have a hard time receiving you because you ain't going to be no more perfect than I am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had somebody tell me one time, well, Pastor,